Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a button to the sales layout and then add a product to that button. There are, um, there's two main ways that you can actually do this. You can add a new button and then add an existing product, or you can also add a new product and the button at the same time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the button and then add an existing product. Obviously, the idea behind this is you have buttons with products that you are, um, are basically sell a hell of a lot of, and this speeds up the whole process. When the customer comes to your till, you simply click the button so the customer can buy their products and then they can be on their merry way, which makes a happy customer, which means they will come back and you will be happy as well. So without further ado, I'm going to go into our sales layout as such. And then just let me put that into perspective for you. There we go. So you should be able to see that fine now. Right. Uh, what we're going to do in here, just bear in mind that a button can also be a menu. Uh, there is a video on how to make a button a menu. It's very, very simple. Um, but for the argument's sake on this one, we're just going to create our button and add a product. So I'm going to, first of all, navigate into this screen here again that navigation will be explained in the menu one okay so it's a basic case of add a button and add a product to it there is it's not complex at all we go to create design because that's what we're doing we pick a color of the day for our button we drop the button into our canvas like so and then all I need to do now is add the actual product to this new button. And luckily, there is a nice little section here that allows you to search for a product and then you can add it to the button. So I'm going to search product now and I'm going to search for a product, something to do with a cat. Like so. And there we are, lots of them. I'm basically just going to select the top. Well, no, let's select the one down here. There we go. So I've selected that and then I'm going to add to button and that's it. You've added a product to the button um, as a Brucey bonus. You also get the text already applied to the button. However, if you're not happy with that text, you can simply select the button, go down to this here and then you can delete, edit and do whatever you want with the button. Do bear in mind when you change the button name, you're not changing the product name. The product will be completely unaffected. However, the button will have the new text that you put in. Sometimes it's handy if a product is just a code or a number and you want something a little more descriptive. So there it is. I shall very quickly jump into the sales screen. We'll go to this menu and I will show you this working. Here we go. Close that. Go into sales mode and then we go through my little menus there's my button click the button and there's my product and that's how easy it is fantastic thank you for listening and please do check in again